which is a 10 inch Cook telescope at the Mills Observatory in Dundee. It was made in 1871 and it's optically very good and this telescope is particularly designed for looking at the moon and the planets and it has the clockwork drive, you can see the weights here and the clock mechanism uh, it's very accurate this, so you wind up the clock uh, when the clock is fully round uh, the weight comes up to the top of the cage here and the telescope can run for tracking uh, an object in the heavens for 45 minutes and as the weight gets to the bottom uh, we wind that up again see the, the counter weight you can see a lot of the brass work what the cog wheels there's the, the date plate here Thomas Cook and Sons 1871 in York the telescope is aligned with the the North Star in Dundee that is like 56 degrees north uh, on a, what's known as a German equatorial mount and this makes it easy for the telescope to track objects you can see the setting circle here uh, and up out towards the dome the vernier hand controls for fine adjustment it's just newly been restored by John Braithwaite and the brass work and the uh, focusing mechanism here for focusing the eyepiece and this telescope is being converted to take uh, modern uh, eyepieces uh, inch and a quarter like the American standard but this telescope is also can take two inch eyepieces and we currently only have one two inch eyepiece that we normally use a low power, we use that for solar projection and the step ladders here are to reach the eyepiece when we want to look at something that is low down on the horizon the dome is made of paper mache and it's very lightweight, we've got a map of the moon and over here we've got a star chart uh, it helps us find what we are looking at and down here we've got the track and you can see the wheels where it rotates round to whatever part of the sky we want to look at and over here we've got the mechanism for turning the dome and telephone just in case we see anything out of the normal we can make a, a quick report And here we're looking out towards the hatch. Hatch again moves again with another wheel, it's totally mechanical. Uh, so turn this wheel to open the shutter and the shutter mechanism. And you can see out into the park. Very bright today with the sun and over towards the T-Rail Bridge and down here we've got the balcony we can use that for setting up smaller telescopes see the sandbanks today the rivers at low tide sometimes we can watch the seals sunbathing out here number of smaller telescopes in the observatory this is a Conus 80mm short focal length telescope and on an old azimuth mount and we use this one to look at the stars and star clusters there's a big telescope that's specifically designed for uh, the planets because it's long focal length we also have 12 inch Mead Schmidt Cassegrain telescope and it is actually more powerful than the Cook telescope and it has a computer 
uh, so you can automatically select the object that you want to look at and the telescope will then telescope will then find the object that you want to look at. Again, for resolution wise, uh, the refracting telescope is far superior for looking at the planets. Uh, the need is better for photography or digital imaging now and deep sky objects. Look at the, the telescope. 